Approaching free agency, general manager Brett Veach has a clear vision for the DNA of the 2019 Chiefs defense. Ian, where's Tyron Matthew going? He is going to Kansas City. The Honey Badger has another new home. Guys, and the Chiefs so many made a people... splash in free agency, intending to sign Tyron Matthew to a three-year deal. A third round draft pick in 2013 by the Arizona Cardinals, Tyron Matthew, also known as the Honey Badger, has worked to earn the reputation of being a Swiss Army knife on the field. Boyer steps up and gets sacked by the Badger at the Providing versatility, leadership, and energy on defense. And the Texans take over. They're going to win their fourth consecutive game. That's four in a row. That's four. Matthew's disruptive style of play has the ability to change a game at any given moment. He's got a unique way about him. When you have a nickname in the National Football League uh, um, and, and players believe in you, they, they, they use that and, and tag you with that. That's uh, like a badge of honor. And so uh, he comes in, he's a humble guy that's dirty tough and loves, loves to play the game. He also brings a leadership with him. Every place he's been, from high school to college to the NFL, everybody raves about the person and the leadership. That's what we're getting here. I want to officially welcome uh, Tyron and uh, Sydney to the, to the Chiefs Kingdom. Um, we're super excited about, about Tyron. And, and one of the things that was really interesting um, when we started this free agency process with Coach Spagnola was uh, I remember him coming down to the office after we gave him a list of safeties to watch. And he would go down the list and he would say strengths and weaknesses. And I like this guy and this and that. Here, here's what he can do. Here's what he can't do. And he got to tie and he said, I, I, I'm struggling to find out what he can't do. And I said, Coach, say, say, no, say no more. We're going to get him. So, uh, again, we're super excited to have him here. And uh, with that, I'll let him take the floor. Oh, yeah. Uh, how's everybody doing? You know, I really like to start out by thanking God, um, obviously. It's been a great, you know, uh, last couple of days. Um, I think everybody's really been uh, welcoming, you know, um, embracing me, um, sharing a lot of support, a lot of encouragement. Um, so, I mean, just really, I'm really excited to be a part of a, you know, a really good football team, great organization. Um, just like I said, you know, just want to put my hand in the pile and help this defense make some plays. You know, anytime you can play for an organization you know, with great history, uh, obviously, uh, you know, a, a young quarterback that's, you know, really going to take this league over. Uh, it was really was a no-brainer for me uh, and my family. The Arizona Cardinals have, have informed Tyron Matthew, their versatile defensive back, that they are releasing him. Uh, so that is officially over the high-priced defensive back. Just got a huge extension. Last year, obviously different circumstances, you know, being released from the Cardinals, um, you know, um, and then really having to, to really see what, what was out there for me again. Uh, and I think this time around, uh, it, it was it was different. You know, I think uh, I knew where I wanted to go, especially once teams started to reach out to me and I started to narrow it down. Um, it was it was hard to turn down Kansas City. Chiefs Kingdom, it's Tyron Matthew, the Honey Badger here. Can't wait to get started. Uh, can't wait to make plays. I can't wait to get involved in the community. Let's roll. Appreciate your time. Yes, sir. I love doing it all. I'm a football player. Um, you know, uh, my coach gives me a job. I just try my best to, to do it. Um, but I think any time I could get around the football, close to it, uh, I just feel like superpowers, you know. <laughs> and any time I'm away from the football, I just feel like my powers are diminishing. So, yeah. <laughs> One thing you're going to notice on our game jersey now, when Lamar passed away, when he passed away in 2006, the Hunt family wanted to honor Lamar. So they took the old American Football League logo, mm -hmm. put his initials mm -hmm. nice and tiny on the football because he right. put the league's best interest above everyone else's, right. and it's also over the heart. Gotcha. Uh, and this is now a permanent part of our journey. Exactly. You know, I grew up, uh, you know, I played for Kenilworth Chiefs uh, in, in New Orleans, Louisiana, in East, Eastern New Orleans. And, uh, you know, it's just funny because it's the exact same symbol is the you know the KC Kenilworth Chiefs and then the Kansas City Chiefs so I, I think I think life is just life comes full circle when you when you got your eyes open I guess